Hey folks, and welcome to Subnautica. What is Subnautica? Well, it's a survival game in early access. Premise is you're on a big spaceship, then some sort of catastrophe takes place. You have to quickly run to an escape pod, jump in the escape pod, and you end up marooned on this huge planet that is mostly, or so it would appear, mostly ocean. And yeah, as I say, you just have to survive. So you get to explore this fantastic underwater world with all these strange life forms. That find food, survive, eventually begin crafting, making bases, submarines, and exploring this strange but beautiful underwater world. Hope you enjoy. Looks like it's going wrong. Oh, cool. Something's gone pear shaped on the mothership. Right in the face. That's going to hurt in the morning. Fire extinguisher. Oh, oh. doing myself a little bit. Come on, go out. Yeah. Phew. Oh. Okay then. That's an interesting intro. They've changed that since I last played it. Greetings, survivor. Great job not dying. <laughs> to assist you in further survival in emergency situations, you have been issued this personal data assistance. Oh, how kind of the you. The interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Cool. All right, so this is Subnautica. So, looks like we've got. Feels like the movement speed's been changed since I last played. Feels like I'm moving faster. So, fire extinguisher. Probably won't need that again. And nutrient blocks and filtered water. We'll take those. Uh, so, survival game. It's received. It's still in early access. It's received really high reviews on Steam. Um, basically, giant mothership crashes down on this water planet, and you have to survive. As you can see, there is no land nearby. Looks like there's something over there flying, but can't see any land, so whatever I use to survive is going to have to be in here. And it is a very beautiful looking game. So, as I say, I've played this a little bit before, so I kind of know what I'm doing to start off with. Got this crafting terminal thing here. First thing we probably want to do is make ourselves a O2 tank. So I need some titanium and some glass, so let's get started. Looks like there's some debris here, that'll be with some titanium. Those guys are friendly, so I'll stay clear of him. Uh, glass, 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 glass. So I believe glass is quartz, is what I need for that. Which is this stuff here. Swim over and grab that. I think it's two or three that you Emergency. need. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Uh, go back down, grab more titanium. Break this limestone, see what we get. Some lead. Don't think I've seen that before, that must be new. 
We'll probably need some of these. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. And we'll head back and see what we can make with what we've Emergency. collected. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I don't like the fact that he's right near our starting location, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so first we need to make the glass. Basic materials, glass. Make some titanium. That should be enough to make our tank. Yeah, scuba tank. Maybe we should make another one actually. So how much do we need for glass? How much quartz do we need? We need two quartz. I've already got one. So that tank should be... Oh, it is attached to me. Oh, so they've changed that too because previously tanks used to sit in your inventory and took up quite a lot of space. So that's good. I can see now that I've got 105 seconds. What is that? It's a creature egg. Okay, cool. This guy right above me. So, looking for some more quartz. We can make some more glass. Hey, that looks new. I don't know, I think I've seen them before. Squiddy looking things. That looks like quartz. Very slow movement, so I think I need to make some flippers next, so as I can speed my movement up in the water. We could probably do with getting some food as well. Come here, you. New creature discovered. So we will eat that and we'll drink that. That should buy us a bit more time. Uh, where do we deal with food? Here we go, cooked food. Is that one sorted? Let's see if we can get some use out of the O2 tank. And we want flippers. So for flippers, we need silicon rubber. To make silicon rubber, we need creep vine seed clusters times two. Okay. With that, can that go there? Ah, so it looks like they've changed how the 60 seconds of breathable air. So I wonder if that still counts, even though it's in my inventory. No, it doesn't. So we've got a spare tank. I mean, you used to have to make more than one if you wanted more time. Looks like that's not the case anymore. Okay, so we need to go find some creep vines. Ah. Looks like a creep vine over here. Where there's one, there's usually more. Yeah, look at that. Looks like some sort of creep vine forest. Swim down and grab this quartz whilst I'm at it. Because I have a feeling it's going to come in handy. fish thing, they're not friendly. That's right, we'll grab them and we'll get out. So there is a day night cycle in this game um, and it makes a big difference to visibility, how much you can see and stuff, but not only that, but all the uh, non-friendly creatures get a little bit more aggressive at night I believe. So places like the Creep Vine Forest are not a fun to place to be in because it's already, as you can see, quite a bit darker there and at night it's hard to see anything so it's 
definitely going to be worth us making some sort of torch to illuminate uh, illuminate the way. which we need for the flippers. Now how many was it we needed? We need two, damn. We need to go back and get some more creep fine stuff. Oh, just as I was talking about night time, there you go. So where was the creep fine? Over here somewhere. Stay away from you. Tactical retreat. 19 health. Oh, this is a great start. We'll get in. Hopefully, there's some med packs or something we can use in here. Pretty sure there was. Yeah, here we go. Got some grub. Got some water somewhere. Maybe we can use a flare. Cool. I don't like this. Oh, I don't want to throw it. Continued degradation at the Aurora's dry core may cause a quantum detonation. Calculating risk assessment. Death by malnourishment, 7%. By physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. That sounds awesome. Good news then. die. Okay, well, that answers what happens when you die. Not a good start. Do I lose? Yeah, I do. So I've lost what I gathered. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video here and come back when I've gathered the materials and I can make the flippers. So I'll catch you shortly. Okay, so I got the materials. Uh, so just need to make silk and rubber. I got myself some food whilst I was at it. So we're getting a bit low. enough to make our flippers. Cool, okay. Next I want to work on probably I guess I'll work on some tools so next I want to get the scanner because that's going to enable me to get blueprints for various pieces of equipment. Um, the sea glide is one of those pieces of equipment which enables me to move around a lot faster. It's also got a torch built in. Flashlight is always going to be handy, and a survival knife. But I'll probably leave that till next episode. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed playing. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cry out.